is Mark Anderson of the Barbara Schneider Foundation. Mark, thanks for being here for tonight. First of all, tell us about Barbara and why her loss was such a tragedy to the community and those who knew her. You know, Barbara was really active in the community. She was involved in a number of community organizations. She was about 49 years old, cancer survivor, um, and so she had a lot of friends. I think when she died, I think a lot of people said to themselves, you know, if this could happen to Barbara, it could really happen to a family member that I have or somebody I care about. I think that's why it really touched people. What you've been doing since with the foundation is forming what is called um, crisis intervention teams and working with police departments across the state to form these. What do they do? Well, you know, CIT, Crisis Intervention Team, is a model developed by Memphis Police Department after a similar tragedy in 1988. Uh, what they do is when they respond to a person in psychiatric crisis, they learn to de-escalate that crisis, to take the amount of time that's needed to calm the situation down and to get voluntary compliance with the transport to um, a medical facility. Um, and it's, it's really it's about partnering your public safety people who are the 911 responders, the police officers, mm -hmm. and your mental health professionals in the community. And how many of these CATs now are, are across the state? Well, there's dozens of police departments now, uh, sheriff's offices and police departments that are getting the training. And uh, there's hundreds of police officers that have been through the training in the last 10 years. From the moment that you started putting these in effect, could you tell that they started to save lives? Well, absolutely, you know, and that's one of the things that's, that's so great about this is uh, CIT typically comes to a community because of a tragedy like this. Mm -hmm. and, and what happens is uh, you see redu reductions in officer injuries. People do their job better. They're more happier. Ha they're happier doing their job because these are difficult calls to respond to. And you see fewer injuries by the, for what's the public. In, what's really interesting about this, too, is 10 years ago, you know, before this happened with Barbara Schneider, mental illness was not something that we really talked about. Right. Exactly. Both in terms of law enforcement and in terms of our own private lives. That's exactly right. You know, um, as uh, I think I mentioned earlier, uh, when we were talking, to, uh, the National Institute of Mental Health mentioned that this earlier this year, that one in four Americans each year has some kind of a symptom of psychiatric illness. And it's, but it's something that we haven't really learned to talk about. And I think now it's becoming more open uh, discussion. What more is there to be done? Well, I think we need to, uh, in each individual community has their own mental health response system. They've got their own mm -hmm. providers and their own law enforcement agencies and their own community groups. In every community, people need to come together and talk about how do we improve the response to people uh, with mental illness in our community. It, it's, it's about what happens in the hospital, in the jail, with social workers and with law enforcement. In the end, it's all about saving lives, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Mark Anderson from the Barbara Schneider Foundation, thanks so much for being here tonight. Thank we you. We really appreciate it. Thank you. You bet.